Hi everybody, it's Leah here, your favorite regulated Canadian immigration consultant and owner of Isaac Canada Immigration Consulting. Welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to see you all today. So for anybody um, who's returning, welcome back to my channel. I'm happy to see you. Remember, leave your comments below because I try to respond to each and every comment. Just a reminder, if you do have specific questions regarding your case, it's very difficult for me to respond because I don't know all the information about you and your personal history and I don't want to give the wrong information. I don't mind sharing general information about programs, no problem. I can forward the links and stuff like that to you. So just remember that, but I do appreciate your comment. And for anybody who's new today, thanks so much for being here. So again, all my returning and new viewers, thanks so much for being here. If you like this video today, hit that like button. If you want to get more information and updates, hit the subscribe button. And if you want me to talk about something in particular or give you some advice or information, I'll make a video for you. So literally put your comments down below so I know what you want and let's make it happen. So I do have some good news I want to share with you today. It's a, basically it's, it's about work permit. The good news is that visitors in Canada can apply for a work permit it has been extended. You guys remember last year I made a video about that special program? Well, great news, it's been extended. So remember there was a public policy allowing certain visitors inside of Canada to apply for a work permit in, you know, because of COVID-19, right? Impacting applications and travel restrictions and all that stuff. So I think what was great, what we saw throughout the pandemic was that Canada made, RIRCC made a lot of special public policies and exemptions to facilitate people to maintain their status despite all the crazy things that were going on um, with the pandemic. So if you remember, it was a temporary public policy. It was issued to allow certain temporary residents. And so if you remember, what's a ter temporary resident? It's someone who's allowed to enter Canada temporarily for a certain duration. So that could be on a work permit, a study permit, a visitor visa. During the pandemic, their work permits expired or their study permits expired and they transferred and changed to visitor status, right? But what was great is that, you know, if they were eligible for a work permit, now visitors could apply for a work permit from within Canada. While all visitors in Canada can apply for an employer-specific work permit under the public policy, only those who held a work permit in the last 12 months may request interim authorization to work. So the public policy, if you remember, came into effect on in August 2020, and the eligibility criteria were extended to allow visitors in Canada with valid temporary rented status to apply inland for an employer-specific work permit, regardless of when they arrived in Canada. So the great news I want to share with you is that this public policy has been extended until February 28th, 2023. So great news. And just a reminder about the all, like what were the objectives of this policy? Why was it created? It was basically just to facilitate people in Canada with valid temporary resident status as visitors to apply for a job offer supported work permit from inside of Canada. What's even better about this is that the policy allows eligible former temporary foreign workers to work while a decision on their work permit application is pending. And if we look at eligibility requirements, I have the link down below. So remember, always click on the link, go to the government website, IRC's website to verify information. Make sure you're eligible for before you apply for anything. And so if we look, the eligibility requirements for visitors to apply for an employer-specific work permit, here's the requirements. For, the, for you, the foreign national, you're in Canada with valid temporary resident status as a visitor, including status extensions under subsection 183.5 of the regulations um, and maintain status at the time the work permit application is submitted, has submitted an employer-specific work permit application, has remained in Canada with status since application submission, right? That's since application submission, remember? Submitted the application on or before February 28, 2023. And just remember, uh, just a note here, if the application is approved, the new status and period of authorization, authorized stay will apply. If the application is refused, when status is extended under Section Regulations 183.5, the expire date of the period of authorized stay becomes the decision date on the application submitted. So just keep a note on that. And in terms of authority to work 
and the interim, meaning, you know, right now while you're waiting, in addition to meeting the eligibility criteria for the work permit, a former work permit holder who converted to visitor status may also be eligible for interim authorization to work if they meet the following, have valid temporary resident status at the time of work permit application submission and have remained in Canada with status since, held a valid work permit in 12 months uh, preceding the date on which they submitted their new application for work permit under this public policy, even though now they're a visitor, intend to work for the employer in occupation specified by the LMIA or LMIA exempt offer of employment included with your application, right? Have applied to IRCC for the interim authorization to work as per the public policy using the web form because there's specific instructions and have requested that the authorization to work be applicable until decisions made on your work permit application. So I just wanted to share this good news for you. So for anybody who doesn't know, the program has been extended so you can apply um, and get that application submitted before February 28th, 2023. So I think this is really good news. And and like I've mentioned in previous videos, I think the government of Canada has done some really awesome things in terms of supporting people inside of Canada and facilitating status and maintenance of status. Because as you guys know, when you come to Canada, regardless of what status, you need to follow the rules and maintain your status. And so I think that the government's done some awesome things here. And I like seeing how these policies have been extended, making people's lives easier. So I know there's like a backlog happening right now with immigration applications. We're at 2.4 million. It's crazy. But like I said in my other video, the government just announced uh, they're going to be addressing these issues in this backlog. So I'm happy to see that and to see things like this happen. I really like seeing people who are here, um, who are working, studying, visiting Canada. They, they want to stay and I like seeing how Canada is making pathways for you to stay. And uh, I think the pandemic has really shown us the versatility and flexibility we can do. But of course, there has been backfalls, as we know, with like the backlog and stuff like that. But I just want to share this news with you. So if you uh, if you like this video, click the like button. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you want to leave some comments, leave them below. I love reading your comments and I like hearing what you have to say. And uh, I uh, wish everybody a wonderful day. I wish you a wonderful week and an even better month. Okay, everybody, you take care. Bye.